Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine candles W using Python 3 in Jupyter Lab. So this is an effect size measure that's sometimes recommended by for example Tomsek and Tomsek um, for a Friedman test and it's actually a measure of agreement among the respondents where zero would represent no agreement and one being complete agreement. Now for some various in-between values um, Caviso, Di Graziano and Popalardo, I'm not fully sure about that, have come up with some rules of thumb for this. So, uh, but these should always be taken with a little bit of uh, leeway, um, they're, they're rules of thumb and not set in stone. So to calculate this with uh, Python, uh, it's actually not that complicated once you have your data available. I'll first load in an example data and I'll load that as a pandas data frame. So I'll first import pandas. And if you've never used the package before, then um, you can install often with exclamation sign pip install and then the name of the package. I can then use read CSV function from pandas as pd dot <coughs> sorry read CSV and then the name of the file and head will show me the first five records. Now this was a survey among students and the only variables that I'm actually here in interested and in has 53 columns of so 53 variables or fields if you like. Um, the only ones that I'm interested in were at the moment for this video the teacher ones. So these seven variables are actually linked with teacher so I'm selecting those and and that gives me this smaller data frame. Now as you can see they're all fully disagree to fully agree so they're using the same categories which should be the case with pair data. So I want these to be numbers so I need to recode them. I'm going to use a dictionary for that. Fully disagree to be one, fully agree to be five and then I can use simply the replace function for uh, looping over all the different columns and now if I show the uh, results you can see that everything has been rearranged to 1 to 5. Then we do need the Friedman uh, results so I have a separate video on determining a Friedman test um, but the fastest way was to use the package of side by stats and then simply feed that all those different fields that I have and the main thing I'm after here is that statistic which is the Q value because candles W is actually Q over and the number of cases that you have times the number of variables minus one that you have. So the Q is that test statistic, so I can actually grab that with this, it's the zero result that gives me the first one. N is uh, simply from the shape, if you take the data frame shape it will tell you the number of rows and the number of columns, so zero will give me the the n and k, the number of uh, variables. Then candles w, simply fill out the formula and I should get a result which is 0 0.15 so that fits in this first category of a very weak. You can also use some uh, if statements if you like with elifs to go over the table and then it prints out a weak for you. And that's all there is actually to it. Uh, these were the references. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, let me know in the, the in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.